What's up YouTube? Back again with another video. This is the video, you know, update what I'm doing in my grandma's house. Uh, what I'm doing right now. This process is called, uh, it's called knockdown. Uh, that's the sheetrock mode. And there's my stempel brush. Dog, look over this rug now, because this rug ain't going to stay down here. I'm coming up with a concept. I've been looking at videos on YouTube about, uh, painting painting the concrete floor but make it look like actual wood so that's probably what i'm gonna do when i uh finish this here side over here and over here i ain't got much more stempling to do i'm gonna go ahead and take up the rug take up the trimming and get in here and uh do the walls too what i do before i stemple it i go in here and, and uh fill in the cracks of the concrete wall which this is a cinder block house. But yeah, it's just another update, you know, showing y'all what I do. And I'll, I'll show you the process, what I'm doing now. See, I'll, I'll put this mud on here. It's a job, y'all, but you know, it's 2021. My grandma's house ain't never really had a, a real, update look you know except 2008 right before my granddaddy passed away uh some native american affair that deals with my grandma they come in here and supposedly they did kind of remodel it they put this rug down these new windows sent your air unit with with the heat with the heat pump so here's the process don't look over here at the trimming because i got to use the pump paintbrush to do there but what I do, I take this uh my trial, which is kind of clean, and I just I go down it. And you see them lines there? Whenever there's a line, these uh they something on the trial, which you know all I have to do is just clean the trial real good with mother sheetrock knife. And all you do is just go down it. Which I really, I'm, if something's puzzled me, why that's pretty much doing that. So what I'll do, I'll take my other sheetrock knife. Hold on. Take my other sheetrock knife and go here. There's something causing that. I believe I found out that, that little piece right there is what calls it out. So what I do, I just go back over it one more time. Try to, or come from the side. Come from the side and I'll get them lines out of the way. I don't know if I do one more coat because, uh, I don't, I don't like seeing the cinder block through the wall. So what I done, I give you an example. Here in the living room, you don't see many lines in there cause it's, it's very, it's very heavy coated. I mean, I'd be scared to say how many buckets of sheetrock mud I used here in the living room. But when the process, like right here, there was a wall right here, which, uh, I believe there was like a little rain leak here and it's making that sheetrock sag there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go there and cut it out and replace that. But uh, there was a wall here and uh, all I done is just went around it, stemped it with sheetrock mud and you know, done the knockdown like I'm doing in the uh, the bedroom. Here's down y'all, you can see where the line was with the brick seal. But uh, the ceiling of course got to be stempled again. Uh, where the trimming is, all these cracks. I got to put the trimming back around here, around the chimney, all the way around it. I'm gonna fill in all these gaps and holes with uh, uh, I could use joint, the joint compound, but I got some uh, uh, caulk that I have bought. But it's coming along, y'all. It's time consuming, but it's coming along. 
I enjoy doing I enjoy working on my grandma's house, you know. Cause when it's when it's if I live to see and it's done, it's done. I'm in a tight space right here because uh the dresser. Since I clean my knife, I don't see them all. Uh, see how pretty that is? I don't see them all uh, lines. Yeah, you gotta make sure you clean these knives off now. And what I do right here i sit it on top of that you know since i'm not making a mess i've done a good job with the ceiling yeah i still put it for some strange reason i put kilts over it when i redone the ceiling i knew it ain't raining in here no more but for some strange reason and brown spots is wanting to pop back through and what i do i just put kilts back over it this here light's coming down. I didn't care about the sheetrock mud getting on it, but that there light fixture's coming down. I use the paintbrush, you know, go around that vent. Uh, all I got to do is just clean this, the fire fire alarm pretty much off on the sides and stuff. What rag to do that? I uh, painted the, the trimming with that uh, kilt. Probably do another coat with that. I want to make my doors, y'all. It's like a rustic look. I want to make my doors. But the sad thing about it, oh, uh, plywood's outrageous. That's what I was gonna use plywoods and uh, plywood and get my boards and you know make a rustic door look. But you know, I I don't know. I don't know now. There's some plywood down there at my uh, not Lowe's but another hardware place in Lumberton that I can get it for like eight nine ten dollars a sheet it has little cracks and dents on the edges of it but you probably can get <sighs> no you ain't gonna get two doors you might get two doors out of one board it depends about the measurements and all it's a four by eight sheet you know just keep the process going you know Now, if I had a sprayer, man, I'd have been done. Yeah, I'd have been, been done. Got to get my, got to get my knife out of that mud. Yeah. But, uh, well, when this is done, I got to do the bathroom. And I'm going to, this probably be the last part I do. Here's the kitchen. I redone the ceiling, put new lights in. I got to put the vents over these holes for the center air. And uh, for some strange reason, bud, when I took down this trimming, I couldn't find the exact board that goes along with this trimming. And the one I found was like, it was real thick. So I got to, I cut, I got to cut it real. I got to take like a eighth of an inch off the back so it could be flush with this here. Yeah, I know you're wondering why I put this tape there. Oh, I had, a, I had a chicken snake in here when I first come in here, you know, to do work on my grandma's house. If want to get in here again, it'd be through that chimney, which I'm not wishing out. But anyways, yeah, uh, I shouldn't have put that down here. I'm going to take that up. I'm going to replace it with tar, either wise concrete, fill in these holes. And I'm going to get in here real good with a sander and get off all this stuff off the floor, clean it real good before I paint it. I want carpet down in here, but rest of the floor, I'm gonna paint it. The only thing about the cabinet, y'all, this here drawer needs to be refixed. It needs to be, it needs to be fixed, ain't nothing major. But, but this here, the bottom down in there has got to be took out and redone. So what I'm thinking about doing is coming here I don't know if I either wise take this whole facing off to replace that whole board down in there. I might, I ain't decided. But if I come across some nice cabinets now, I'll probably just take all this out. It won't be no time soon though, but I'm just saying. The cabinets are nice now. I'm not that choice of a person. You know, I don't know if I should paint this or put another one in. Previous video I had mentioned, you know, I was gonna paint it, but it's uh, it's kind of gross up in there, but I'll probably take it down. Yeah.
But uh, you know, that's just you know my day. Uh, the day's March 30th. Uh, since uh, a couple of days ago was my anniversary. My grandma that passed. This is her house. Well, it was her mama's house where mama gave it to her. So I'm the third generation family member that's going to be living in it. Which I was real close to my grandma and granddaddy. You know, and I, ble I believe she'd be happy, you know, me coming down here taking care of it. We was down here yesterday cutting the grass. I don't know if you can see the yard real good. But my great-great-grandma's house sit behind here. And I wish y'all to seen that house. You wouldn't have believed it. Besides that house, they had another house on 211. It was like a plantation home. Big, beautiful home. You know, I've never said this in any of my videos, but uh, my grandma's great-grandparents were the first people to have TV and lights in, in, in the county. You know, besides the farmland, all this is the land that goes with the property. But a uh, farmer's renting that out and planting all uh, soybeans and such and such and such. But yeah, this is the update, y'all. Uh, I'm like I say, I'm gonna knock this out. This here is sheetrock. Which I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out around here, around the doors. And I'll come in here. I got to take these shelves out, clean them up real good, stoop up in here, paint, you know, fill in the gaps like I told you I'm doing it. I'll probably let it dry. You know, go from there. Of course, I got to take all this rug out and that stuff around it. I don't know what happened, you know. They say my aunt, bless her heart, instead of one of it with like a sponge mop she was wetting it and you don't you don't wet vinyl rug so that's why it's coming that's why it comes from underneath the uh, the trimming but it's all good you know it's all good i'm i'm blessed able you know to do work in the house man i'm always love to build and remodel i don't have i don't make that as a profession but i do sometimes help people you know their homes and stuff i don't charge them much but uh, you know, this like I say, this is just an up, update video. What I'm doing. Uh, to be honest with you, yes, I could live in the house right now. You know, just just look at all this stuff in here. I just took this out of the bedroom. But uh, these here, this, the, these old radios, uh, a track radios, record players, they're not going nowhere. Uh, this here is my grandma, my granddaughter. So we're gonna give this to her. It's, it's got a mirror that goes with it. The old antique bed ain't going nowhere. Oh, uh, this thing here, my my uncle, my uncle that died when he was real young. His name was Leona. He built this, which you know, the Lowrys is known to build stuff with wood. So I had to take it after family. But you know, just minor things. These old peach bowls, old punch bowls. I call them peach bowls. These are my grandma's. They're not going nowhere. You know, just just certain things. Cat dog, these dresses and all, they're not going nowhere. I, like I told my girlfriend, this is our bedroom, but we're not going to be able to have this in here. So what we do, we'll probably take this and put it in the other bedroom. And we, we're we both going to get a closet. Matter of fact, this is strange. There's three closets in this bedroom. Don't ask me why they done that. But here's the funny thing though, I probably mentioned it in the previous video. This was built on in 75. All right, this was built on 75, this part of the kitchen. But when my grandma and them moved here, this was the kitchen. Yeah, this was the kitchen. And the bathroom was a closet and they had an outhouse outside. Matter of fact, see where that grass right there is pretty much? You know, budged up off the ground and you see them little bricks. That's where the outhouse was. You know, 2021 now, it's it's come a long ways. You know, it, my grandma's alive, like I said earlier. I believe she'd be proud of me. Ignored it, you know, the sh things up on the walls, which I'm going to get blinds and curtains and put back up in here. <sighs> oh, it's going to be soon now, because like I say, all I got to do... We're country. There ain't no county water down here in front of the Corians, the pump house. All I got to put is a pump down and try out the hot water heater, which I doubt the hot water heater is going to work. And uh, that's that's just about it. I got to put on the toilet, which I'm not going to put it down yet. I'm going to get in there and clean up in there real good, stemple the walls, go ahead and paint it. 
and paint I mean paint the walls and go ahead and uh, clean the floor real good and paint it whatever color I decided to do I, I want the hard hard floor look you know the wood look for the floor but uh, like I say you know it's, it's coming along you know if y'all if y'all like me love family history and your ancestors because believe me God and your ancestors blesses you in life especially if you you don't waste your talents and gifts believe me I'm a, I'm a living example I always knew that I'd be the one to live down here but see at the time my aunt Frida was alive and her my, my first cousin her boy was down here living so I always said you know he if everything works out he should live down here to, for the rest of his life but that didn't work out so uh, that's what my aunt Kay and all of them told me to come on down here and take care of the house and move in it so that's what I'm doing but y'all have a blessed day and God bless.